I'm Fiona Mikayan and in this video I'm going to show you how to identify diplomacy from handwriting. Diplomacy itself is a trait that doesn't show that often so it makes it all the more important when it is there. I'll show you other things in writing that make people either very undiplomatic or perhaps a bit more careful about what they say but I'll also show you this one trait of diplomacy and you can look out for it because when you see it, it makes quite a difference to how this person deals with others in situations where they consider diplomacy necessary. So let's get going on how to identify diplomacy from handwriting. Diplomacy Being diplomatic is a way to get along with others. People who are not good at diplomacy tend to put their foot in their mouth to get themselves in trouble sometimes and offend those who are more easily upset. Knowing your own tendencies in this area can help you be on the alert for times when you might be inclined to speak out rather more than is advisable. And being able to identify other people's tendencies in this area can help you get along better with them. Because if you know this person tends to be blunt and perhaps blurt out things unthinkingly, you're less likely to be caught off guard. And if you like them otherwise, you may be willing to overlook this in their behaviour. Or if you're deciding on a job or are in the position to be hiring others, knowing how diplomatic you or they are can help you decide whether a job is a good choice or not. So if getting along with others is important to you, being able to identify diplomacy in writing is likely to be something you will want to know. Diplomacy shows in writing in the letters M and N, both capitals and lower case. And it doesn't matter if they're printed or done in some form of script, any M or N qualifies. Where the letter M or N gets smaller towards the right, this is diplomacy. It must stay smaller though. Getting smaller in the middle, then larger at the end again, is not diplomacy. So there is an example with two M's and one N, and you'll notice that the end of each letter is much lower than the beginning of each letter. So these show diplomacy. The M in my also shows diplomacy as it gets smaller towards the right, but the two N's in handwriting do not. It's interesting to note that both of these examples also show blunt and directness. It shows in the writing with no lead-in stroke where the letter just starts with what is necessary to make it recognisable as the letter, where the, fe where the pen first touches the paper. So you'll notice in M and N there, the first stroke, if it was missing, you wouldn't be able to read the letter. And the same in my handwriting has a little loop and a little lead in stroke so the H doesn't qualify but the W in handwriting does It's very direct as well it just starts straight into the W so that's blunt and directness. These writers who have both have a tendency to be blunt and direct. Here's the blunt direct no lead in stroke but they can also be extremely diplomatic if they so choose. And there's a diplomacy again. It's all a matter of how much they feel they need to be careful in their speech. Here's the signature of a Governor General of Canada of yesteryear. His writing is the perfect illustration of diplomacy. So Roland Missioner, the M, Look at the three points of the M, they go drastically downhill. The N's in Roland and Missioner do not show diplomacy, just the M. 
but that is a classic M. Another way diplomacy shows in writing is where entire words get smaller towards the right. And there again is missioner getting smaller towards the right. The H pops up a little bit, but then the H is meant to be taller. In general, the writing gets smaller towards the right. So a classic example of diplomacy. Again, Roland has no diplomacy in it whatsoever. So it must go, get smaller and stay smaller. It can't just get smaller in the middle and then get larger again. It has to continue to get smaller all the way along. Here's a quick quiz. Which writing below shows diplomacy? You can pause the video if you want to have a better look and the answers will be on the next slide. My most popular book, Practical Handwriting Analysis, Graphology Explained. Would you like to learn more about graphology? This book has practical explanations with clear illustrations and it's got a professional te looking template with instructions so you can create character sketches of any writing at all. And there's also instructions on how to throw a handwriting party. So it's got everything you need to become an amateur graphologist. There's a link below in the description box. Here are the answers. Which writing shows diplomacy? The first one has diplomacy in the three M's and the N. The very first M just gets slightly smaller towards the right, not much. The second M, the one in most, is very obvious, as is the one in mourning. And the N also shows diplomacy. So that one definitely shows diplomacy. Now this one, there are two M's and an N and they all get larger towards the right. So they're going the wrong way for diplomacy because diplomacy has to be larger on the left and smaller on the right. And these ones are smaller on the left and larger on the right. So that is no diplomacy. That is actually the trait of self-consciousness where it gets larger. Now in mum, the first M is diplomacy because it's taller on the left than it is on the right. But the second M doesn't. However, because it's got one, it shows some diplomacy. And the last one, the M's and N's are all very level, all the same size all the way along. So that one does not show diplomacy. How did you do?